Most people fight for months to lose weight, only to see the fat slowly creep back. It feels unfair, almost like the body has a secret plan to pull you right back where you started. But here is the twist. Almost no one talks about the real reason weight comes back it is not a lack of discipline. It is not weakness. It is biology. Your body has built in systems that quietly work against your progress, pushing your hunger up, slowing your metabolism down, and trying to restore the fat you worked so hard to lose. This video pulls back that curtain. Today, you are going to learn the hidden science that explains why the body defends fat like a precious resource and how you can shut down those internal triggers so fat regain becomes almost impossible. Stay with this video because by the end you will know something that most diets never reveal. Your body can be trained to stay lean permanently, but only if you understand the signals it listens to. Many people only know the simple side of weight loss calories, workouts, meal plans, but very few know the deeper layer where real weight stability happens. We are going to uncover overlooked research on metabolic adaptation, hormonal rebound, neural appetite pathways, and even how fat cells develop long-term memory. These are not common tips. These are the silent biological reasons your weight tries to return to its old setting and the exact steps proven to stop that cycle. You will also discover something many experts skip because it does not sound dramatic enough. Long-term weight maintenance is not about eating less forever. It is about understanding how to reset the internal thermostat your body uses to decide how much fat to store. When you know this, you gain leverage, you gain control. You stop relying on willpower alone. And for the first time, keeping fat off becomes effortless, not a daily battle. Throughout this video, you will learn why drastic diets fail, why slow and steady changes permanently alter appetite hormones, and how certain types of exercise can raise your daily calorie burn even while you rest. You will also hear lesser known findings, like how fat loss affects your dopamine system, why sleep can determine whether your body stores or burns fat, and how muscle mass acts like a shield that protects you from rebound weight gain. These insights come from scientific studies that many people never hear about, yet they hold the key to staying lean for life. Watch this video until the end, because the final section ties everything together into a simple, science-based strategy that anyone can follow. If you have struggled with weight rebound your entire life, this is the missing piece you have been waiting for. No hype, no tricks, just a clear explanation of how your body works and how to keep it working for you forever. Welcome to our channel and thank you for being here today. If you want more content that breaks down complex science into simple, practical steps you can use every day, make sure to subscribe and join this growing community. When someone finally loses weight, the body does not celebrate. Instead, a quiet internal alarm switches on. Fat loss may look simple from the outside, but inside, the body reacts on several biological levels. Researchers have shown again and again that the body sees fat loss as a threat, not an achievement. Fat is a survival resource, and when it disappears, the body begins to defend itself. Hormones shift, nerves fire different signals, and your metabolism starts to change direction. One of the biggest ideas in modern weight science is the set point theory. This is the concept that your body has a preferred weight range that it tries to maintain. Experts believe this range develops through genetics, long-term habits, and years of eating patterns. When you lose weight and drop below this familiar zone, the body senses danger it starts pushing you back toward the weight it considers safe. This is why many people feel like they are being pulled toward their old number on the scale, even when they are trying their best to stay on track. The body is not trying to sabotage you, it is trying to protect what it thinks is normal. One major defense mechanism is a drop in metabolism. 
After weight loss, the body begins to burn fewer calories even while you rest. It does this to conserve energy and prepare for what it interprets as a period of scarcity. This slowing of metabolism has been observed in many people after dieting, and it makes maintaining weight much harder than losing it. You start burning less energy for the same activities, which means the same meals that were helping you lose weight can suddenly keep your weight stable or even push it back up. At the same time, hunger becomes stronger. Hormones that control appetite begin to shift. Levels of hormones that promote fullness may drop, while hormones that stimulate hunger can increase. The brain receives stronger signals urging you to eat more, especially calorie-dense foods. This is not weakness. This is the body activating ancient survival systems that were designed to keep humans alive during times when food was rare. Newer research has uncovered something even more surprising. Some studies suggest that fat cells and even certain immune cells in bone marrow retain a kind of memory of previous obesity. This means the body might be biologically inclined to restore fat stores after weight loss because those cells remember a larger size and push the body to return to it. This theory is still being explored, but early findings point to deep biological programming that goes far beyond simple hunger or discipline. All of these reactions create a powerful internal push toward weight regain. It is not about lack of effort. It is not about failure. It is the body fighting to return to a familiar state using systems that evolved long before modern life existed. When people lose a lot of weight, many believe the hard part is over. But long-term evidence says the story often does not end there. Many people end up regaining a substantial amount of what they lost. Large-scale reviews and long-term studies reveal a sobering trend within a few years of successful weight loss. Most people gradually drift back toward their former weight. Research tracking adults who had lost weight shows that only a minority managed to keep the weight off over time. In one such study, just about 20% of overweight individuals who lost at least 10% of their body weight maintained that loss after one year. The rest gradually returned toward their old weight. PubMed plus two, PubMed plus two, in a broader analysis of dieting studies conducted over two to five years, findings showed that among those who initially lost weight, between one-third and two-thirds regained more weight than they had lost. Many regained it all, and sometimes more. PubMed plus two. The Guardian plus two. Another study examining U.S. adults who had achieved substantial weight loss found that after a period of maintenance, about one-third had regained over 5% of their baseline weight PubMed. Even in populations considered successful maintainers, keeping the lost weight is not guaranteed forever. In a follow-up of a large registry of people who had lost considerable weight and maintained it for some years, many still experienced some degree of weight rebound. For example, among a group followed over two years, a majority remained below their maximum lifetime weight, but small regains were common, and most of those who regained weight struggled to lose it again. OP Academic plus 2 PubMed plus 2. This trend is not rare or unusual. It is common, and in fact, expected. The longer the time since initial weight loss, the harder it becomes to maintain that lower weight. Many people find that once the strict phase of dieting ends and life returns to normal eating or habits, the weight begins its slow return. Sustained behavioral effort, constant vigilance over eating, activity, and lifestyle that appears to be the exception, not the rule. Hopkins Medicine, Org plus 2, PubMed plus 2. When scientists study people who lose weight and manage to keep it off for years, certain patterns appear again and again. These are not extreme tricks or short-lived hacks. They are long-term habits that reshape how the body functions and how the mind responds to food, hunger, and routine.
One of the strongest lessons from research is that sustainable eating always wins over temporary dieting. When someone relies on drastic calorie cuts, the body responds with a powerful survival reaction. Metabolism slows down, energy drops, and hunger rises. This starvation response makes the body cling to fat and resist further loss. It becomes harder to stay consistent, and any slip can lead to quick regain. Extreme restriction sets up a battle between you and your biology, and biology usually wins. What works better is adopting a balanced and sustainable way of eating. People who maintain weight loss long term often build meals around whole foods, lean proteins, vegetables, fruits, healthy fats, and moderate amounts of carbohydrates. They do not depend on rigid rules or short term plans. Instead, food becomes part of a lifestyle that is enjoyable enough to maintain year after year. This softer approach keeps hormones stable, supports energy levels, and reduces the intense hunger and cravings that follow extreme dieting. When the body feels nourished and safe, it becomes far easier to stay at a lower weight without feeling deprived. Another essential factor is physical activity. Exercise does far more than burn calories. It counters the natural metabolic slowdown that happens after weight loss. Strength training helps maintain or increase muscle mass, which keeps daily energy burn higher. Cardio supports cardiovascular health and helps regulate appetite. These two forms of movement work together to protect the metabolism from drifting downward. People who keep weight off consistently are usually active most days of the week. They treat movement not as punishment, but as a normal part of life. Long-term maintainers also shift their identity. They do not think of themselves as being on a diet. They see themselves as people who take care of their health. This mindset keeps their habits stable long after the initial weight loss. They continue prioritizing nutritious foods, regular meals, and consistent exercise even when motivation fades. Simple behaviors make a big difference such as stepping on the scale regularly, preparing balanced meals, tracking occasional patterns, and checking in with themselves before habits slip too far. These small routines prevent subtle weight creep from turning into major regain. And finally, they avoid the seductive pull of quick fixes. Very low calorie diets, crash programs, extreme detoxes, or rapid transformation promises often lead to fast rebound. These approaches trigger hormonal and metabolic responses that push the body to restore fat the moment the program stops. People who stay lean long-term choose strategies they know they can continue, not ones that burn bright and collapse. Many people approach weight loss with a finish line mindset. They tell themselves they only need to die until I reach this number, as if everything will magically stay stable afterward. But the truth is very different. Successful long-term weight maintenance is not a temporary push. It is a lifestyle that slowly reshapes your relationship with food, movement, and daily choices. The moment the journey is seen as something that ends, the old habits begin creeping back in, and the body naturally drifts toward its previous patterns. That is why the real work starts after the weight comes off, not before. Long-term success is built on habits that feel realistic and repeatable. Instead of restricting for a few months and then hoping the new weight will stay without effort, people who maintain their results create routines they can live with. They eat in a balanced way, they move regularly, and they make decisions that support their health even on the days when motivation is low. These habits do not need to be perfect. They only need to be consistent enough to keep the body and mind aligned with a healthier lifestyle. When these patterns become part of everyday life, the struggle fades and maintenance becomes far more natural. Losing weight itself is often emotional, intense, and full of effort. But maintaining weight requires a different kind of energy. It requires patience. The body changes slowly. 
hormones shift gradually. Metabolism adapts over time. If someone expects rapid improvements every week, they will constantly feel disappointed. But when the mindset shifts from fast results to steady progress, the pressure reduces. The journey becomes less about chasing perfection and more about building stability. Consistency matters more than intensity. It is better to have moderate habits you can follow for years than strict rules you can follow for only a month. This is where self-awareness becomes powerful. Paying attention to triggers, routines, stress points, and moments of emotional eating helps you stay in control without feeling overwhelmed. Learning how your own body reacts to different foods, sleep patterns, and activity levels gives you the ability to adjust before weight regain begins. And it is completely normal for progress to be slow. In fact, slow progress often lasts longer. Small changes give your body time to adapt. They also give your mind time to accept new routines without feeling deprived. A slow and steady approach helps you build skills, not just results. Over time, these small improvements multiply, creating a lifestyle that naturally keeps weight off without constant struggle. The truth behind long-term fat loss is clearer now. The body does not simply let go of fat and move on. It pushes back with hormonal shifts, rising hunger, and a slower metabolism. These biological reactions are strong, but they are not unbeatable. When you understand how the body responds, you gain the power to work with it instead of against it. Permanent fat loss does not come from fighting harder. It comes from choosing habits your body can live with for years. Staying lean is not about extreme diets or strict phases that end as soon as the goal weight appears. The people who keep weight off for life follow a different path. They eat in a balanced, sustainable way. They stay active because it protects their metabolism and strengthens their identity. They build routines that blend naturally into their daily life. Over time, these habits reshape the internal signals that once pulled their weight back up. So if your goal is to never ever regain the fat you have lost, focus on the long game. Choose foods that nourish you. Move in ways that strengthen you. Create patterns. You can continue even on stressful days. Do not chase quick fixes. Build a lifestyle that supports the body you want to maintain. It does not need to be perfect. It only needs to be consistent. Before you go, take a moment to reflect. What small change can you start today that you can keep for a lifetime? One habit, one shift, one step forward. That is how lasting change begins. If you found this breakdown helpful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more science-based guides on health, fitness, and long-term results. Your support helps us bring more information that truly makes a difference.